to here is your English for today. It is Thursday the 4th of February 2021 and in today's lesson we are going to be encapsulating what we want to say sentence by sentence. That just means that we're going to be planning our writing and thinking in our heads of what we want to say and then making that um, come to life on paper, making some notes for that to come to life on paper. OK, on to our handwriting first of all. Um, if you are in the Spelling Bees group, the word that I would like you to practice is the word aisle. And again, it's a contraction because we're looking at contractions and it's the contraction of the words I and will. It becomes aisle. OK, so if you're a spelling bee, that's the one I'd like you to practice. And then if you're in the wise owls and um, you're revisiting the A make a cake rule. So I'd like you to practice the word make for me, make, three times. So there you are with your spellings. Spelling bees, aisle, wise owls, make. Pause the video and complete your spellings for me. OK, here is our starter for today. Um, I would like you to find the two adjectives in the sentence below. So you don't need to circle them. It says circle. You don't need to do anything. You don't even need to write them down. You can simply just say them when you find them. Quick recap. Remember that an adjective is a describing word and an adjective describes a noun. It describes a thing. There are a couple of examples on the screen. The bearded wizard, the furry cat, the twisting tower. The tiny mouse. All the words in red there are adjectives. So let's look at the sentence then. The new supermarket is the biggest in town. The new supermarket is the biggest in town. Pause the video here and have a quick look and maybe just say out loud which words are the adjectives in that sentence and we need to pick two. Pause the video and let me know what you think. Now, I can see that the first one, the adjective is new because um, it describes the supermarket. The supermarket is the thing, the noun, and the adjective describing the supermarket is new. The second adjective, the, sup the new supermarket is the biggest in town. So town is the noun, it's the thing, and biggest is the adjective because it's describing the size of the supermarket, isn't it? It's the biggest in town. In today's lesson, we are going to be planning our instructions. And why do you think it's important that we plan our writing? It's important to plan our writing so that we have a clear idea of what we are actually going to include in our writing. And sometimes when we plan, it might mean writing it all out. And other times when we plan, which is what we're going to do today, it actually means thinking about ideas that we can use in our writing, but not necessarily writing the whole thing. Just picking and pulling at ideas that we can use when it comes to the final piece. We're going to be writing a set of instructions to help someone to be more like a superhero. And I want you to think back to your superhero from last week. And I want you to pause the video here and think about all of the wonderful things that made them amazing. And what we're going to do is we're going to give someone a set of instructions of how to be a superhero. This is what your planning sheet looks like. It would be really helpful if you could get it now and have it in front of you. If you are unable to print it, that is absolutely fine. I know I can't print it at home, so that's totally OK. But grab yourself a piece of paper and on your paper, you can still plan out your instructions and um, you can just do it in whichever way that you want to. You might want to draw those boxes or you might simply want to just put the subheadings to give you some ideas. The first thing I'm going to think about is my title. Now, you don't have to fill yours in at the same time as me, but it may be helpful to have the worksheet in front of you so that you can see each part that I'm going to be looking at. I mentioned before that we're going to be writing a set of instructions and our instructions are going to be telling someone how to be a superhero. Our job 
now is to think of the title that's going to be at the top of our instructions. And I've put some ideas on the screen that might help you to decide on what your title is going to be. I imagine you're probably going to choose a title that's much more exciting than me. But I started to brainstorm some ideas. I started to think of some ideas and I came up with four and I'm actually going to choose the one that I like the most now. Here's what I came up with for my title. How to be a superhero. That was OK. How to be a life saving machine. That was all right. How to save the world and still be home for dinner. I quite like that one. How to be a hero. Now, I'm actually going to choose the third option, how to save the world and still be home for dinner, because I think that is a nice title for my instructions. You might want to choose the first one and maybe add two adjectives before superhero. Um, that might be the best one for you. It's your choice and your title, so you will need to choose a title for your instructions. The next thing that I'm going to move on to is the things that I will need. Now, I mentioned at the start of this week that when you have a recipe, um, you will have a list of things that you need. You will have the ingredients that you need. And we're going to think about the ingredients of a superhero, the things that make someone a superhero. And I came up with a couple of um, adjectives on the board. That I believe um, a superhero would have to have some of the qualities that they would need. I've said that they'd need bravery. They've got to be pretty brave. I've said that they will need kindness. They need to be a kind person. I've said that they need honesty. They need to be honest and tell others um, anything that they that they need to know. They need to have courage. So quite similar to bravery, but they need to have courage and they also need a lot of patience. I'm thinking of a superhero who has to be very patient and Victoria's Violet, my superhero, she needs lots of patience to do her job good in a good way, I should say. So actually, patience is a good quality that a superhero could have. Your superhero might need super speed. Your superhero might need to eat a filling breakfast. Maybe that's something that your superhero needs. In this section of your plan, you can jot down all of the ideas that you have about what you need to be a superhero. Now, this is not the real set of instructions. This is just the plan. So you can just put them as little bullet points like I've done. You don't have to write in full sentences in the plan. OK, you can add them for bullet points in the plan. The next one, um, I want us to think about adjectives that we could use to describe a superhero. Here's a few that I came up with and then I'm actually going to show you um, a little a little picture on the screen that you can come back to in the video and pause it so that you could magpie some ideas. But some adjectives that I might use in my in my writing tomorrow are bold, daring, helpful, flashy, impressive, bright. I've made a list of six adjectives that I quite like the sound of that in my instructions tomorrow I'm actually going to use. Now, when you get up to filling in the adjective section, you can pause the video here. So you could, re you could rewind and pause the video and you can have a little look. This worksheet is brilliant. It's just one that I found online, but it provides us with lots of different adjectives to describe um, superheroes. So I've magpied some from there. You might want to come back to this slide and magpie some as well. OK, they're great adjectives. Um, this one's really good over this side. How could their behaviour be described? Cunning, good, helpful, protective. That's something that you need to have a protective quality. Secretive, supportive. Maybe your superhero is a really good friend. Now, in this section, the imperative verbs, the bossy verbs, I want you to make a list of bossy verbs that you might add to your instructions tomorrow, because when we write our instructions, we're going to have this planning sheet next to us to draw our ideas from. Again, you might want to come back to this page of the video, this slide of the video and magpie some of those bossy verbs off the screen. It's totally up to you, but at least you've got some there to help you out as well. 
And then one of the other sections, this section, the time conjunction section, um, this is where I want you to write down a list of some time conjunctions that you might choose to use. I've put some on the board on the screen. I keep saying on the board it's because I'm used to being at the board. I've put some on the screen that you could again magpie from. There's nothing wrong with magpieing some some of the words off the screen. So you might want to come back to this bit, pause the video and magpie some of those. I also would like in your plan for you to draw out your diagram of what your superhero looks like. You might draw the diagram just of your superhero and label them. Or you might draw your superhero and maybe fighting crime or saving the world. You could draw a picture of the world and then your superhero on the top. I think that would be quite cool. So that's for your diagram. OK, that's for the diagram section of your instructions. What you can do now is fill in your planning sheet. But boys and girls, what's great about having this on video is that you can now rewind the video. You can go back. And you can listen to my ideas again and help you um, fill in yours. You might think, oh, no, Miss Buckley, I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm just going to plan now. But if you're feeling a little bit unsure and a little bit stuck, you can pause now. You can go back to where I started with title and then you can start from there. OK. Have fun planning out your instructions. And remember, this is just a plan. So if you're looking at this section, the imperative verbs, that's OK if you just write down verbs, add, pour, put, stir. That's fine because it's the plan to help us for tomorrow. I'm so excited for tomorrow's English lesson, guys. I cannot wait to see how our instructions come out. Have fun planning. And if you need us, you know where we are.